Hello everyone and welcome to Dino Outdoors. Today we're going to test and review this 12 inch 20 volt cordless snow shovel from Voltask. I'll go over all the features that this electric snow shovel has, then we'll give it a test. Today we received about 8 inches of heavy wet snow so it should be a good test for it. Then we'll head inside, do a quick unboxing to show you how your snow shovel will arrive and then I'll go over the assembly process with you guys. So stick around. This electric snow shovel features a three-piece shaft Assembles quickly with the thumb screws, has an ergonomic and adjustable handle, features a safety mechanism for applying the trigger, and has a 12 inch shoveling path. This snow shovel includes a 4 amp hour lithium battery, has a battery display on the back showing you how much battery life is left and easily installs with the spring-loaded battery compartment door. Slide the battery in to hear the click and close up the battery compartment. To begin using your snow shovel, press the safety feature button on the side which will keep you from accidentally pressing the throttle before you're ready to use it. Another nice feature with this electric snow shovel is it weighs just slightly over 9 pounds making it lightweight and easy to carry around. Let's go give it a test. I don't know if this shows up real well but we got a good 8 inches of snow. It's that real wet packing snow. So this should be a good test. Let's see how well this snow shovel performs. So this is some pretty thick, heavy wet snow and we had an inch of freezing rain last night before the snow came. As you can see there, this is all solid ice right here. So you're not obviously going to get through that, but it does a really good job. Even with this heavy snow, it cut right through it. And then right here is the end of my sidewalk, so I'll get the plow out and get the rest of this afterwards. I try to get a good comparison. Try to get a good comparison here. Here's a good look at how deep the snow actually is. My hand. So it's just up above my hand in this spot here. All right, now we're gonna take everything out of the box, show you what all is included, and some of the assembly process that's needed before you begin. Off to the side for now. All right, here's a look at your snow shovel out of the box. It uses these cords, elastic cords, uh, to hold everything together until you get it all assembled. Also inside the box is your user's manual. 
And here is your battery and charger. We'll go ahead and get this battery fully charged up before we try it out for the first time. Once that blinking green light stays steady, your battery is fully charged and ready to be used. All right, to begin assembly, take your shafts, straighten them out, slide them together. Just have to unwind it a little bit. Your shafts will go together like so. You're going to find your hardware located inside your battery compartment here. What you need to do is line up the holes on the shaft and insert one bolt. Keep wiggling it around until you get it through because you're going to also have the cord that runs through it. Now take your thumb screw and secure it down. Be sure not to over tighten it, just snug it up. Do the same thing with the other half of the shaft. Once you have your three shafts assembled and the thumb screws tightened up, now you can go ahead and adjust the holding handle by loosening up the thumb screw on that side. So loosen that up. The handle can be slid up or down on the shaft as well as angled by spreading it apart a little bit. And then you can tilt the handle forward or backward to suit your needs. Once you have the handle positioned where you like it, retighten the thumb screw. When you are finished, your electric snow shovel should end up looking like this. All right, I'm finished. I was able to do a three by 15 foot sidewalk, a four by 20 foot apron before the battery finally gave out. Uh, the website does state that you will get 25 minutes of runtime and seven inches of lighter snow. And I believe that you should get that no problem. I got about 15 to 20 minutes. I didn't time it exactly. On this four amp hour battery, with about eight inches of really heavy thick snow. In fact, I tried using a shovel just to compare it to this and it was really difficult to move with a shovel. I have the uh, snow plow pusher shovel and you couldn't hardly move the snow. So this thing is definitely a lifesaver when it comes to uh, shoveling that heavier snow. One thing I'd recommend if you're going to be doing a larger area is picking up a second battery so you don't have to wait that hour to recharge your battery up and you can just keep going. If you guys are interested in checking out this product, I'll leave a link down in the description below. If you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you guys found this video helpful, please give it a like. It's an easy way to help support this channel. As always, thanks for watching and remember to get outdoors with Dino. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me